You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, National Financial Columnist and Money Color Commentator. This week on The Biz, simple and straightforward retirement. And on today's show, the Boomer Retirement Market with our special guest, Jonathan Illig, Retirement Income Architect, all here on the Business Insurance Zone. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting live to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And with us, day three, John Illick. Hey, John. Hey, Steve. Great welcome to be here. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. If you've missed Monday's and Tuesday's show, you need to hop back out to the site and look at our show at thebiz.tv and look at Monday and Tuesday show, we actually went consumer on you. We took segments from our retail show, One for the Money, because we wanted you to gain the language of the consumer and start using language issues that'll really help you sit in front of a retail client. Now, John, when we're talking about it with our advisors watching the show today, we're trying to roll out, and this is amazing because this is part and parcel of what we're doing here at Biz Media. You've constructed a huge software program, and I mean it is one of the top programs in the United States. You've been around the, for a long time in our business, almost 20 years, and you've really been the architect on retirement income. And you've taken in, I have to say, even on our consumer show, you brought up things I would have never thought of that you're incorporating into your plan. But the best thing I like about this plan is, is that we actually have access to a complete team, and that team will really help you. You don't lose any compensation for doing this. Nope you can call it in and to me it's better to outsource and here's why I'm going to get on this just for a little for a second before we get John going again I really think it's really important to know that it's easier to outsource we used to sell software all the time sure. you should buy this software that software and there's some that I still recommend but when we're talking about calculations and retirement computations I really recommend that you outsource the test we have great data collectors really good fact finders mm -hmm. This has all been really state of the art. And so there's no compensation issues. If you can get the data into us, we can turn these numbers around. And instead of selling or renting out a, a seat in a software technology, we're actually doing it for you because we've actually formulated what I believe is one of the crack retirement teams that are out there right now to really help consumers. And that's our goal because that's your in game client. So John, let's talk about the, the software because that is a major piece of what we're, we're talking about because we see such a deficit for clients, for consumers, for retail people to really say, I don't even know how to approach this. What are those numbers going to look like? Sure. And now we can do this at not, not only no cost to the consumer, but no compensation reduction to our advisors. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the program, we call it the Income Architects, as you so well put there, is not actually a software program that we're trying to put in the hands of the individual advisors. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, there's a lot of really good software programs out there oh, yeah. that either advisors can use or sell or et cetera. That's really not why we're taking this approach, Steve. The reason we're doing this is, well, there's several reasons. Uh, experience has shown us that uh, particularly the really good software programs, there's a fairly significant learning curve involved mm -hmm. in those. And uh, so that can lead to frustration for the agent. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys are out there seeing clients. That's what their, their, their mm -hmm. core thing is. Uh, the second reason there is because in addition to that learning curve, a lot of the software, or frankly, if not most of the software, uh, it has a, a lack of flexibility mm -hmm. to adapt to unique client situations. Well, so talk, again, about a few, talk about a few of those because I was shocked on our consumer show that we had you do and that's why I put it inside our show Monday, Tuesday. Talk a little bit about all those things that I, I was even stunned at that you incorporate into the software. Well, we incorporate both. Uh, we look at the as separate income and expense streams, both their needed income, also their desired income. We call that foundation mm -hmm. and discretionary income. Uh, one of the more unique things about what we're doing in this program is, is how we treat inflation. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at very detailed uh, changes to spending patterns over time that the client thinks they're going to use. Uh, we assign actually separate rates of inflation to different categories mm -hmm. of expenses. And this is simply because uh, not, not everything inflates the same. Okay. Right. In fact, actually, I remember in our consumer show, remember, we had John on our One for the Money show because we felt very strongly mm -hmm. that consumers really want a track to run on. And what yeah. we've done is we've made a system so that nobody has to hassle this, not only the consumer, but our advisors. And this Absolutely. is what I like about your program because there's no comp reduction. We're talking about this. But I noticed in years, like, for example, some of our retirees are going to be going into retirement mm -hmm. with a mortgage. Absolutely. So usually it's a fixed rate. Typically, yeah. And so if it's a fixed rate, 
what's the inflation on that? None. None. Zero. And if, when we look at their total, what we call foundational income mm -hmm. needs, if they still have a mortgage in place when they retire, and there's going to be a whole lot of them, Steve, mm -hmm. um, that's a pretty significant chunk of that total needed income mm -hmm. in a given month. If you inflate that, it skews your numbers significantly mm -hmm. over time. And what it looks like quite often, particularly to the consumer, is, oh, I'm going to need a whole lot more income, and it scares them. They say, oh, right. I can't do exactly. this. When we take super reality by doing good detailed mm -hmm. forecasting to what their expenses are going to look like, quite often what the consumer sees is, oh, maybe this is doable particularly mm -hmm. if they're working with a good advisor. Well, I, I love this because you're taking your fixed mortgage, going to the consumer and saying, this is, if, if it's a fixed yeah, rate, of it, it's level, there's no inflation. Now, I noticed though that you tagged healthcare costs in the future, but higher than the normal mark-to-mark -mark inflation. Absolutely, because, you know, we know that healthcare costs and also energy costs typically mm -hmm. inflate at a much higher rate than, say, other things such as the cost of travel and things like that. And so we really want to mm -hmm. look at this in a detailed way so we can get the best. You can't completely predict the future, mm -hmm. Steve, obviously, but what we're trying to do with this type of color retirement income forecast, we're trying to get as good a picture mm -hmm. as is one reasonably can. Well, that's what I think. We're trying to make basic assumptions that we think are pretty much in the game based on history. And one of the things that we talked about, even I find all the time with retail clients, they go, Steve, everybody's telling me to use inflation. Yeah. But the problem is that some of the most commoditized issues that we use in retirement, well, actually in our budget yeah. today, are not in inflation. Energy costs, food, I mean, I just can't believe yeah. how come those are not in inflation. Yeah. So when I look at inflation versus real costs and the purchasing power of my dollar when I retire, I think that's a huge issue to retail clients. When we come back from the break, we're gonna continue our basic understanding on the boomer retirement market. And don't forget to enroll in IULUniversity.com for the best training, education, and sales support when it comes to life insurance for retirement income. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Sabat with Jonathan Illig. Don't forget, you can request today's marketing material by emailing me, steve at thebiz.tv. And just a heads up, before moving forward with any of the ideas on the show, always consult your tax advisor or legal counsel, as well as your broker-dealer compliance department if you're FINRA licensed. We're addressing boomer retirement market, and we're talking about John's turnkey approach so that we can really go ahead and do one of the most, and I think, one of the most straightforward and simplistic retirement plans, but the software is so technical. That's why we're having it outsourced to our team now. And again, as I said before, no compensation cuts on any of this. We've really formatted and made a high-tech approach to this. And I have to say, one of the biggest things dealing with our team is that we're able to do this because we have excellent data collectors, excellent fact finders, sure. and we can even mark to mark the client's mortality or their life expectancy. John, let's walk through this list because this software is really great. And I think a lot of advisors are going to say, man, I've been waiting for this. I want to be able to just do my fact finder, send it in, let technology and experts that live in this day in and day out. I mean, I, I mean, you're, you, I mean, you are in this for the last almost 20 years doing this. So, talk a little bit about. Give us a little list. 
Well, the, the, the process, particularly from the agent's perspective, is very simple. As we said in the last segment, it, it is very time consuming and frustrating for the majority of agents who have got really busy handling clients to do this planning and, and manipulate these types of software themselves. So our program basically provides them the tools and trainings to explain the income planning concepts to their clients, whether that's in seminar, laptop, print, whatever works. And for we them. have all that. We have all of that. Oh, that's great. Uh, how to collect the data using our fact finders or theirs if they preferred. We just sure. treat them with what the information we need. They then take that information they've collected on the client, their assets, their expenses, et cetera. They send that to us. We do all the computer work. We call it outsource the computer mm -hmm. work. We're going to put this into a very complex bunch of calculations, look at where their client's income gaps are, create a solution to plug those gaps mm -hmm. using uh, guaranteed income from annuities in, in, in many cases, and then shoot that proposal document, beautiful written proposal document, mm -hmm. back to the agent for presentation to the client. Let's say our, let's say our advisors fill out the information. Right. It's done in a very good format. They're mm -hmm. done complete. They hand it to you. What's the turnaround from the time you touch it to the time we send it back out? Uh, less than a week, typically. Mm -hmm. I mean, that can vary an awful sure. lot. Can vary an awful lot. But with inside of a week, five days, sometimes much less. Just mm -hmm. depends on the complexity of the case and various stuff. Also depends on how good the data is. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's always going to be the truth no matter what we do on yeah. whatever retirement modeling, estate planning, right. business succession. We have to have good data. Now, the thing I like about this is because we've actually constructed a team so that you can approach retirement at a whole new issue. Now, there's going to be analytic people among us who, oh, who would love to buy their own software, and I have no problem with that. I don't either. I think that this is, I like it better because you're always moving down the road to the next prospect, while the previous prospect, their numbers are being calculated, being right. formatted, and to me, being able to do the math, have outsourced this is really powerful because you're looking at a third party document that's really making your game look much more objective. That's absolutely right. We want to keep the agent focused on what the agent's core mm -hmm. skill set is, which is typically handling those client relationships. Uh, but we provide them all the mm -hmm. tools and training they need to, to take the client right through how these proposal documents and things like that are set up. But I also want to emphasize that while the the program is based upon this particular income planning technique, it's very flexible. This is the other mm -hmm. advantage of this program is because there's not only unique client situations, but there's a lot of agents out there who like to promote slight modifications to the concept by centralizing this and not having to teach them to use the software and use up their time for that, mm -hmm. we're able to very quickly make those modifications to suit what they want. And by the way, I do mm -hmm. want to mention that while this is coming from a third party, in other words, our team is doing this, everything that we put in that agent hands is customized to reflect their mm -hmm. business image. It says their name, their firm name on it, et cetera. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, I appreciate that. And of course, we want private labeling on that all day long, and yeah. everybody wants to promote their practice, which is our end game. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just say we're ready to do this now. They, they, we're going to send in, we're going to we're going to send them their data collector. And remember, you can just write me, steve at thebiz.tv. We'll send all this out to you. And we'll give you an example. And I think I think there's a, actually, is it a demo? Is there a little example of this, like a finished product we can send out oh, to? Oh, client proposal? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we call it the retirement income forecast and mm -hmm. proposal document. And what that covers, in addition, obviously, all the assumptions. Mm -hmm. It's a forecast of the, of the client's what we call foundation income needs and their discretionary income desires out through at least age 90, sometimes mm -hmm. beyond that. Very detailed, uh, including inflation, changes, etc. There's, there's information in there that shows what the income gaps are. That's simply mm -hmm. how much of this income that they need that is not going to be filled by Social Security and pension. Mm -hmm. And then a detail of how we craft the solution, again, using guaranteed income from annuities and quite mm -hmm. often uh, distributions from other types of assets. Just depends upon what the guidance we've mm -hmm. gotten from the agent and the client. So yeah, absolutely, we can send them an example. Well, when I'm looking at this, you know, some of our talking points of, t of this second segment is the construction of this software has really taken on variables that, as I said in my first segment, that I didn't even incorporate in my own head. But more than that, we can give certain, it's not just one scenario, there might be several different scenarios oh, that a client there usually might are. Admit. There usually So are. I'm going to say, well, if this turns out, well, here's what I need. So I might have two or three options, sure. and I can model those options on a timeline that are really great for the client. And to me, that's powerful because I like I, when you get in front of consumers and we have a finished product, here's we took your data, we laid it out, we gave you three different options that we think based on what you told us, mm -hmm. and then we can even again 
come back to the, and I've been using the 2000 uh, VBT tables to calculate how long my client's gonna go. And we're boilerplating everything, at least at age 90 right now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, that's our show for today. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or email me at steve at thebiz.tv. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.